Welcome to Creating Ethical and Sustainable Business. I'm Dr. Heather Stewart and I'll be part of your teaching team. So let's get started and in this first lecture which is aligned with Chapter 1 and Lecture 1 as next week you'll be looking at Lecture 2, Chapter 2 in Week 2. Um, just a little bit of a note for these lectures. The, these will be in parts, usually three parts. And what we'll be doing is doing a brief overview of the content that you will be covering. You're expected to also review the textbook for a deeper understanding and also attend your workshops. And we will have these three parts. At the end of um, each part, we'll be posing a discussion question, which is a really good idea for you to engage with, jot down some notes, um, take some thoughts, and that will help your studies as you progress through the course. So let's get started. And to begin with in lecture one, we're going to introduce business ethics. So to do that, there'll be an overview. And to with this overview, we're going to give some definitions of what is business ethics um, and why is business ethics important. And then we're going to be looking at it in terms of a context of globalization then we're going to look at sustainability and how that links into business ethics as a key goal. So part one, let's look at business ethics. Okay, what is it? So business ethics, this is a textbook definition and always good to go back to a clear definition to base, base your, your idea and start to look at it in more in depth. So business ethics is the study of business situations, the activities and decisions where issues of right and wrong are addressed. And you'll see how we link back to parts of this statement as we move through. So when we talk about ethics, we talk of business ethics, we talk about ethics, and um, particularly we talk about a legal situation, the law. And it's, it's very, um, I think it might challenge you at times and I, I'm sure that at times you, you've um, felt the, the, the grey areas of what is ethical and what is legal is not always the same thing. I'm going to introduce a bit of a controversial issue here which this course we, we encourage you to engage with those controversial issues and to get critical ideas, critical thoughts from you that you can actually express yourself, but also listen to others. So one of the things that I think of straight away when I think about an example of what is ethical and what is legal and how there's a lot of gray area and it can be quite a contentious sort of issue, depending on how our, our norms, our values and beliefs and our ethical lenses go into it. And that's the issue of abortion. So if we think about it in, Abortion is something that um, it has a legal status to it and has an ethical status to it. So in some parts of the world um, where it's not legal, however, there may be some ethical issues to say, to question that and vice versa. Where it, it is legal, there might be some ethical issues that people have a problem with on having it having abortion as a legal um, process so that that's a, a good one to think about where there's lots of gray areas and lots of controversy and contention around it and um, it's a, been a huge issue for quite some time which I'm sure some of you might have um, heard about in the news so we need to define morality um, and how that engages with ethics and ethical theory. So when we start to look at um, morality and ethics, um, then we start to look at it how it starts, it gives us those rules and principles that become ethical theories. So morality is about the individual and how we bring our norms, our values and beliefs through those social processes and they help us define what is wrong and wrong right and wrong for us as an individual um, and also how we as particularly as managers and leaders then take that into the community how does ethics come into that 
Well, ethics is a study of the morality and, and the application. So the ethics, start, once we start to look at the ethics, then we start to look at the purpose, and which gives us a lens for rules and principles. And that helps guide and determine right and wrong in situations, in those moral dilemmas, those ethical dilemmas. And these rules and principles are ethical theories. So to clarify that, we've got the relationship between morality, ethics, and ethical theory. And in this little flowchart, it gives you a, a nice logical idea of how that all fits together. So we start out with morality and how ethics rationalize morality and that, that then produces ethical theory and that ethical theory then can be applied to any situation or ethical problem or those ethical dilemmas. So that helps gives us that linear approach and a bit more of an idea of how that relationship of morality, ethics and ethical theory fit together. So we're going to have a look at why is business ethics important. A lot of key points here. Um, one of the, the, the top point here, power and influence of business and society. Uh, I think back to when I was first studying about business ethics and how that whole idea of how business and society interplay. So business actually came about to support society. And that power and influence of business and society has ebbed and flow throughout time. Um, business ethics, it's a major contributor to society. Um, it also has potential to inflict harm because if we go back to what is ethical and what is legal, then that, that can be how we bring the, those individual ideas into it can inflict harm. It can also inflict harm in ways of when we start to look at ethical theories, um, we're going to pose some of those issues to you. For example, with utilitarian, where um, for the greater good, that sometimes might inflict harm to others. Um, with business ethics, we've got a lot of increasing demands from stakeholders, and stakeholders are people who impact or influence the organization and anything to do with that, that organization. So this is where that, that business ethics and education really comes to help us in guiding and um, helping us um, process through some of those ethical situations. So having a good um, understanding of business ethics and some education in it is really beneficial for managers and leaders. Continued infractions of ethical um, dilemmas or ethical situations. That's a really interesting one. We're, we're going to be looking, the next slide, we're going to be looking at types of conduct. But when I think about this point, I think about so many different situations. You know, you, we can go back in time to the Enron disaster. We can go back through some of the environmental issues with the Horizon oil spill, Exxon Valdez, another oil spill. Um, we can go back to the Rana Plaza in more, I was going to say recent times, but it's probably not now. But that was that huge fire where um, workers were actually trapped in a um, factory situation um, and doors, exit doors were locked due to not wanting to let employees get out and other um, issues. But the safety issue had been overlooked and those people lost those lives their lives. So there's lots of ethical dilemmas and, and um, ethical infractions that continue to happen. You know that that um, in recent times there's there's been lots of issues like wage theft, um, the difference between a livable wage versus a minimum wage and they're things that have been happening in Australia. So we need to evaluate different ways of managing business ethics. And of course, and I put a big smile on my face when I come to the, the last point of interest and rewarding, because I think business ethics <laughs> is really interesting and very rewarding in helping us as managers and leaders. So let's move on to types of misconduct across sectors. Um, a slide that showed this same um, issue of misconduct across sectors um, in a previous 
time period to this, the government governments were actually at the top. Um, since 2019 in the UK, at the top we've got banking and finance, technology, support and professional services. And if we think about some of those points that we just talked about before in terms of wage theft, um, in terms of um, uh, some of those ethical infractions um, in, with banking and finance. You've got in banking and finance in Australia, we've had some dilemmas with some of the big four banks. Um, with technology, uh, we've got dilemmas with um, some of our key players, with Facebook, with Twitter, and what's been happening there. Um, support and professional services as well. And this next slide, I think, feeds really into what we've been talking about too in terms of reported ethical lapses in 2019 by issue. And this again is in the UK. So some of those issues of behavior and culture, diversity and discrimination, treatment of employees, very, very topical in the, this environment we've got, where we've got issues of Black Lives Matters, Me Too movements, um, gender and equity issues, very prevalent in, in business and in society. So another thing that we've got to think about when we think about some of these um, ethical issues, we also need to think about the organizational types. So please don't, um, when we talk about organizations, um, you might have an image in your head. However, organizations come in so many different shapes and sizes, also in different industries. So we really have to narrow how we are actually going to look at these and also it helps look at it through stakeholders. So if we look at through stakeholders and the main priorities, um, in terms of, um, quite often we go to large corporations. However, it's interesting enough, small businesses, your small to medium sized businesses, are 98% of worldwide business. So let's just have a look at small businesses in this, in terms of main priorities in addressing ethical issues. And of course, I encourage you to go over this table in detail to sort of have a look at the, some of these differences. But the main priorities in death, addressing ethical issues, um, financial integrity, employee customer issues, okay? If we talk about managing ethics, we talk about how it's informal management and it's trust-based. So it's coming down to a lot more um, where it's, you can see how it's, owner base so it's probably going back onto the owners their morals their values and how they actually um, employ those ethics into their, their their small business so quite often that small business will have lack of resources therefore lack of attention and it might come back to that lack of school training it might come back to the lack of bandwidth because a small organization is usually owned and managed by a, one person so have a look across this table that I've just highlighted the issues um, and the differences across the organizational types from the small business lens. But have a look at it when we start to look at the other ones of large corporations, civil society organizations and public sector organizations. I encourage you to have a look there. Okay, so I'll ask you to pause the slide in a moment and now that we've got a definition of business ethics, I want you to really think about why is business ethics important in terms of management practices. So there's no right or wrong here, this is your view. Please take a few notes, This is these discussion points to help you study, help you absorb the content, help you think about the content. So the more you engage with these, I think the better you will in um, getting traction with the content. The second point here, I've got, think about the reasons for and against operating ethical organizations. And if you can, give examples. Now, it does it, just off the top of your head, these notes are for yourself. So please engage with it and it will help you bring in discussion points and teams and also workshops, but also help you um, manage your way through the content. Okay, so let's pause here and we'll be back in a minute. 